we first start with some breaking news. The football disorder statistics for the 2021-22 season have just been released. They do suggest a worrying trend in English football, however. The stats are in comparison to the 2018-19 season. This is due to the pandemic. Um, here are some of the key findings, OK? Overall, there were 2,198 arrests. Now, that's an increase of 59%. An increase as well with hate crime, 30, 384 offences, up by 99%. As for pitch incursions, there were plenty of high-profile examples. There was a big rise here, too, by 127%. And in total, there were 516 banning orders issued. And this is a new stat for the 2021-22 season. Yeah, the throwing of missiles up uh, as well. Uh, possession of pyrotechnics. So, worryingly, lots of these um, statistics are on the rise. And Chief Constable Mark Roberts, who is the NPCC lead for football policing, has said um, the release of these statistics underlines that the rise in disorder we saw at the midpoint of 2021-22 has continued and cannot just be put down to fans returning to stadiums after lockdown. Disorder is a problem that has not gone away and throughout the whole of last season we saw an increase in crime at football matches across the country from the Premier League right down to the National League. He said, following constructive talks with the Premier League, EFL and FA, we are keen to support our partners in delivering their proposals, including the introduction of stadium bans for people who enter the pitch as well as those who use pyrotechnics. The statistics released today show a yeah, worrying rise in these crimes, both extremely dangerous, of course, for players, for the staff and, and fellow fans alike, as well as being banned. Anyone who commits these offences should also expect to be prosecuted by the police. He said, we know that drug use along with alcohol is one of the key factors which leads to disorderly behaviour. We're pleased that the government is adding Class A drugs offences to the banning order legislation. This will provide police with another option to tackle criminal and antisocial behaviour by those who are under the influence of drugs. It is a long statement and it continues. He says, anyone who commits a criminal offence, either outside or inside a football ground, can expect to face the consequences of their actions. The increase in arrests and football banning orders demonstrates that the police are taking positive action to tackle the problems working very closely with the CPS. So he says, we collectively need to make football a safe environment for the overwhelming majority of supporters who just want to enjoy the game. And finally, he says, at the same time, forces have a wide range of diversionary activities to tackle the increasing number of young fans engaging in inappropriate behaviour and will only achieve our collective aim by everyone working together and putting those fans who are genuine supporters of their clubs first. It's a worrying news, but it is being tackled.